Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be talking about Samsung TrueDirect technology, which is basically a way to take your captured video or your movie files, uh, photos, put them on a DVD so that you can play it in any DVD player. The idea is it's supposed to be so simple that a baby could do it. Okay, so before we get into some of the software features of TrueDirect, let's talk about the hardware a little bit. First of all, you have to have a TrueDirect DVD burner. So the way to tell a TrueDirect DVD burner from a regular DVD burner is that it will say TrueDirect on it, right there, plain as day. Also, at the front of it, you can see that a TrueDirect DVD burner has this little TrueDirect button right here and it's a white button with a little circle in the middle of it. So that's how you can tell a true direct burner from a normal burner. Also, it'll probably be manufactured by Samsung because it's their proprietary technology. In terms of the other hardware requirements, uh, you want to have at least a Pentium 4 2.0 gigahertz processor and 512 megs of RAM. Unlike most video recording software utilities. However, you do not need a whole bunch of hard drive space because TrueDirect goes right from your video device to the DVD. So you don't need to buffer, which means that even with your hard drive almost completely full, you'll be able to capture video and turn it into a TrueDirect DVD disc. So now that we've talked about the hardware, let's talk about the software a little bit. The first thing you need to do to get TrueDirect working with your TrueDirect burner is to install the TrueDirect software, which is included in the box of your TrueDirect burner. So you can go ahead and press the TrueDirect button once you've got the software installed, and that will launch the TrueDirect application on your PC. So now that we've got that open, we can talk about the different ways that you can use the TrueDirect software to create your very own DVD titles. So once we've got the TrueDirect software open for the first time, we're going to go ahead and go into the Configure menu. So if I could get the cameraman to zoom in a little bit on Configure, which is right here. So there's only a few different things that you need to change in TrueDirect. Basically, you just select your TrueDirect burner out of the possible DVD burners and devices in your computer. So we've selected the appropriate one here. You type, select your DVD type, so you can use NTSC or PAL. Video quality, you can use HQ, SP, or LP, depending on how much video you actually want to store on the DVD. Screen ratio, you can pick uh, full screen or widescreen. And then these options down here are to do with, uh, with photos. So if you're going to put a photo slideshow on your DVD, then you pick how many, the duration of how long each photo shows. Also, there's a Mac skin style. If you happen to own a Mac, the software is both Windows and Mac compatible. And then the other one, which we're using, is the Vista skin. Now, in terms of the different kind of media that you can put on your TrueDirect DVD, you can do live video. Live video means that you're capturing it from a VCR or a camcorder or anything like that. Also, you can do photo files, which means you can take any digital photos that are on your computer and you can turn them into a slideshow, which would be a title on your TrueDirect DVD. You can also do video files, so any video that you've downloaded or that you've, uh, maybe a friend already captured it with his camcorder and brings it over to your house, you can use your TrueDirect software to basically put any video file that you can play onto your TrueDirect DVD. So as long as you've got the right codec, as long as you can play it in Media Player, you should be able to make it a title on your TrueDirect DVD. The photo and video file options in the TrueDirect software are actually pretty straightforward, so we're not really going to cover those here, but we will talk about the live video option a little bit. Now, we'd love to demo this right on Tech Tips, but the only video camera we have is the one that we shoot Tech Tips with, so it's kind of right over there, which means I can't be using it here. Um, all you basically do, I did play around with this at home a little bit, we'll show you a demo disc after. You select the video device, so as you can see there's no video device attached to this computer, which brings me to another requirement of TrueDirect, you need to have a USB 2.0 FireWire or an AV input. So you have to be able to capture video in order to use it. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and cancel that. But while you're playing back from your VCR, or from your camcorder, or from whatever else, all you do is click pause every time you want to stop the, oh crap, no you want to click stop. Um, are you still, re okay, well anytime that you want to start a new title you go ahead and click stop and that will make whatever you've recorded before a title on the DVD and then once you click record again then that will start and it'll create a new title in the menu. So we're going to demonstrate this a little bit better with the demo CD, DVD. As you can see I've taken calligraphy lessons 
Um, that's my fantastic writing. I wrote TrueDirect demo on this DVD. So we'll go ahead and put that in the TrueDirect burner that it was created in. Close it up. And then you'll see on the screen in a, about 5 to 10 seconds, it's going to pop up with a prompt to play DVD. Now this would work. It's really important to stress that it's not only PC compatible. You can play these discs in any set-top DVD player that can recognize the disc. So we'll go ahead and play DVD video. It's playing. <laughs> so Windows Media Center comes up and so we've got our DVD titles here. So uh, this is some footage that was on the camera before I got it so we're going to not show that. But uh, I can go ahead and show you this home video that I recorded. Uh, this is my computer and um, there you can see a UV light. And these are my water cooling tubes here, here and here. And I'm going to zoom in on my CPU block for no apparent reason in a second here. Yeah, there I go. Uh, it's fully functional, which is always a good thing. Um, now we're going to go, and, oh, we're looking at my keyboard now. And then, uh, that's my, well, that was my mouse, and that's uh, volume settings. There's my monitor. I'm using TrueDirect at home, as you can see, to make this DVD. Um, so that's my little home video. Uh, yeah, also you can do, um, as I said, from video files. So I have uh, some, a Family Guy episode here that we're not going to display for licensing reasons. We just click stop, go back to the title menu here. Um, also, I created a photo slideshow, Mr. Coco's Lousy Food and Warm Beer. This was a restaurant in Amsterdam that I'm standing in front of. There's a statue. Anyway, we're not going to get too much further with the photos either, but the point is just to demonstrate that TrueDirect creates a, a DVD that is very simple. All you do is you, you say, yeah, I want to put all these things on it. It automatically creates the titles. Um, this photo back here in the back, the Christmas thing, I was just kind of playing around, experimenting with different ones. It includes quite a few. Uh, you can also, oh, here's a really cool feature. You can add titles later. If you use DVD rewritable media, you can add titles so you can make new DVD titles here. Also, you can change this menu style. So you can change the photo in the background, and that is a truly unique feature of TrueDirect. So just as a wrap up, I'm just gonna show the Samsung TrueDirect burner that we were using for this demo. Uh, it comes with a neat little stand, which is what we had it on during the uh, tech tips, but we'll go ahead and put that down for now. Um, at the back of the TrueDirect burner here, you can see that there is a power plug as well as a USB plug. There is also an internal version. There's an internal TrueDirect DVD burner that is available, but this one is the USB external version. It's only about 20 bucks more, and honestly, I really like the convenience of it. So, thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. I hope you've enjoyed it.